Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is iOS 9.1 Beta 5. This came out today and is another update to the betas that are available to developers. Now this particular beta came in at a large 1.6 gigabytes. I screen captured this earlier before I installed it. And last week's beta was about the same size depending on which device you had. The strange thing is, is last week's beta really had nothing new, or at least Apple didn't tell us of anything new. This one just says it contains bug fixes and improvements. And that's really all we have. According to what we can find online, it really doesn't have anything new. It does have those emojis like we had before, where they had the different new emojis, such as the middle finger and some things like that, but there's not a whole lot of other things going on that we know of. Now, this particular beta is supposed to be coming available before the iPad Pro, and it adds different features for that device, but really with this particular device, I've been using it since the last beta was out, and battery life seems about the same. Uh, I do get a few hiccups here and there when using it, but overall it really doesn't seem that much different. It's just a large install, and that's about it. As far as the emojis go, let me show you some of those again. Here are the emojis, and as far as these go, there might be some new faces. I'm not sure. Maybe you can find some of those, but I, I haven't found anything new compared to the last version. Here's some ones, or the one I not mentioned earlier. Uh, we do have some other things, different types of people in here, I believe, as well. There's not a whole lot of other things, though, going on. Basically, we have a taco, a burrito, cheese wedge, unicorn head, middle finger, like I mentioned before, and there's a bunch of other Unicode updates as well. So there's a bunch of different emojis in here, and I'm not sure what else, but you can see what's going on by the screen here. And I actually don't use emojis that much, so maybe that's why I'm missing some of these. Now, other than the emojis, I couldn't really find anything else going on. Everything basically looks the same. Uh, we can check out wallpapers and see if they've changed that, but I wasn't able to find anything there as well. This takes a while because I have so many photos, so it takes a minute when I do choose a new wallpaper. It's not really a bug or anything. Uh, one person asked me on... Uh, on the actual video I did on a previous one, if it fixed a Game Center issue. I actually never had a Game Center issue. Uh, you can see there's the live wallpapers, nothing new there. For stills, I don't see anything new there either. Uh, but someone asked me if it fixed the Game Center issue where it pops open Game Center. I haven't really seen an issue with that. If I go into my Apple apps and go into Game Center, it loaded right up. There's not really any issue. Here's some of the games I've been playing more recently. Most of them older games, but everything seems to work okay. So I haven't found anything in particular that it's fixing. It seems to work okay, and I really don't have much more other than that. So if any of you know what's actually new, that maybe there's something they changed with fonts or a couple icons, I haven't been able to find a single thing, quite honestly, in this particular update. Same as the last one, but it seems odd given that its size is 1.6 gigabytes. It's almost like it's a gold master ready to come out, and they just keep tweaking it and saying, okay, let's try this one. I'm not sure if that's what's going on, but let me know in the comments below if you've seen anything new, if you're running the developer beta. Other than that, please be sure to subscribe, comment, like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.